Yeah, it is. Right. <sighs> Fresh face tonight, apparently. <laughs> apparently, according to the camera lens, sort of thingy. <clears throat> Yeah. Fucking hell. What was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, nothing's coming out. Like, uh, I'm just getting bored of saying it. <laughs> I've been really shit again. But I fucking have. I, I could have fucking gone out on Saturday. It was a nice day. There was a party happening. A load of people went. I could have gone, I could have gone, I probably could have DJed there. All the shit I love. This is like, it. um, but you know what, it is what it is. I bumped into a friend today, like, she, she's one of us. <laughs> um, and like, I was supposed to be linking up with her, she lives down the road, like, ages ago, and then she's just had a bad time of things with what with one thing and another and all that and uh, <laughs> um, I'm seeing her on Thursday I'm just going for a walk a coffee or something let's go for a walk and that's nice that's nice <laughs> but you know what was nice was to be able to just say the kind of shit I was saying like a lot more graphically um, and just have it not swept away not overdone Oddly sympathised with, but just known. It's known, I'm not judged. Just is what it is, kind of a thing. I know a lot of people hate that phrase, <laughs> but it is what it is. But my sort of turning point, in a way, it felt like a turning point. It hasn't thoroughly translated, but it was yesterday. I was just fucking bored. I was bored. I played a set on Saturday. It was quite good. I like stuck around for most of the day. But again, it's like it's just sort of endless comments on feeds and just watching live set after live set. I can't do it for thirteen hours. I don't know how people can. I can't. I just can't. Um. And then it was like Sunday just fell apart in a couple of hours or something. Got up, felt all right. A bit of breakfast. It was a sunny day outside. I was gonna train. I was gonna train in a bit, and it just. And do you know what? Time just fucking dragged. I like. I had about four naps. Probably only about 10, 15 minutes, but they felt like naps. I was just sitting. With dear fucking Cuddlesworth. He might come to join us. Is he come to join us, Cuddlesworth? Is he come over here? He might. He always used to walk in front of my videos, didn't he? All the fucking time. Every fucking video. I'd start talking and he'd walk in, in front of me. Wouldn't you? <coughs> the fuck was I on about? Time. Yeah. Um, and then I got bored. I just got bored of existing like this. You know, that sort of, you get comfortable in your bubble, don't you? And then you don't want to leave your bubble. I think that's kind of what Saturday was. Um, but then even the bubble became boring yesterday. And it was just, oh, God. Why do I want the day over? Just for another one? <laughs> and then today, I tried to do some shit. <laughs> tried to tidy my room to finish the actual original room tidying plans that I had some six weeks ago now and I still haven't finished. I made some jolly good fucking headway though. But and I did train and I've eaten um three meals. I need to have a protein shake. But I'm partially hungry. So I should do that. Or well, actually I've got a big fucking chocolate gungy thing. And clotted cream <laughs> that's full of protein. Um, I must have that. 
And today went really fucking quickly. It was like I got two loads of laundry done and all neatly folded and put a fucking way. I've got all the fucking bits of cat litter swept off the floor, and all the edges swept. I haven't hoovered yet. I still haven't fucking hoovered. Hoover's the last thing. Hoovering's the last thing. I've still got the Grand International fucking knicker audit to do. I have sorted through the drawers. One of them needs to be doing because I've looked for something. I have most of my wigs lined along the wall. There's another four over there. Um, but it's like I'm starting to like, I go through different phases with it, but it's, it's like I've always said, it's so fucking inextricably linked to how I feel and affects how I feel and, and can go all sorts of different ways. But sometimes when it's tidy and the slightest out of place thing makes me inspired to move it. Whereas now it's like, I just can't get it tidy. It never even looks tidy. Even with my little ways of like stacking everything and you know, what most people would say is OCD, but I just think it's an insult to patients with OCD. So I try to avoid it, but obsessive. Um, it's not really obsessive though, is it? It's not obsessive. It's not obsessive. It's 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 perfectionism, really. You know, stacking things. It's it's control issues. Yeah. It's all this stuff that's in OCD. But it's not fucking OCD, mate. It's not fucking OCD. Anyway. You know, you get like quite a lot of angriness. Like most nights I've had like a few times I've just grabbed a big carrier bag because there's just so many unrelated fucking objects all over my bed and it just fucking angers me. It really angers me. I was angry this morning. I left. <laughs> and I pulled out in my truck. I went like that to reverse out. And there's like a, there's a weird sort of split in the road. It goes around a tree. So it's kind of like a roundabout, but it's not. It's just this little fucking road does that. And I think it was her. It turned out to be a neighbour. I thought it was just a random. And they just sort of stopped. And I was just thinking, they're right in my fucking way. Can't they see what I'm doing? I must have been, go that way. And they went, which I'm, I didn't know how I was supposed to interpret that. I was, yeah, go that way. <laughs> so they pulled. And what they were saying is, oh, I need to park, obviously. But rather than just getting out of the fucking way because they could see what I was doing, uh, pulled her fucking car where she wanted to park, where she wanted to end up. Right in my fucking way, literally right where I needed to fucking reverse into. It's like, I'm not going to say women drivers because I'm a man and we're not allowed to say that. But she had no sense of what was fucking happening. She really fucking didn't. And furthermore, she fucking reversed. I was, uh, all I did was I just fucking, I was just in the car, just going, are you being fucking serious? Like, you, you know when someone just sort of goes, duh, and does the stupidest thing right in front of you, and you're like, fuck off. It turns out she lives opposite, and like, I think I've waved her a few times. <laughs> and then I was just moronically guilty about how much of a fucking unreasonable, impatient bastard I am, and how I can't stop that. And I would just rip into people. For shit. It's not just in my car. It's not just in my car. So then I'm like, now I'm really paranoid. I've been really paranoid all day walking around in case, like, I get seen. I'm like, he was fucking horrible this morning. He was, yeah. Because I was. And then I'm all, like, smiley me and all that. And I feel fake. I feel fake. It's also why, like, a lot of, it's, well, one of the reasons why when people are, like, heaping fucking praise on me for whatever reason and I'm not okay with that and there's always this one of your paradigms <laughs> that that must mean I don't really love myself so you start going on about how much you love me it's like she's trying to heal me it's like no it's because I'm fucking objective mate no one would like that about themselves if they were a truly nice person so it shows I'm not truly evil because I was truly evil I wouldn't give a fuck about it right <laughs> <laughs> but it shows that I'm not a nice person so don't fucking tell me I'm fucking nice and it, you know it, it is sort of rejecting complimentary shit from people I say no well, it's fucking, that's, you know it's the kind of shit I'm on about no one would like that about themselves no one would be okay with that knowing that they could be such an utterly rude fucking just fucking horrible 
the fucking horrible. Not then, it was like, what time was it? About half, quarter past seven. I was probably coming home from work. <laughs> I mean, probably coming home from a night shift. <coughs> <coughs> I might have just been popping out to the shop as, as I was, and she was returning, but, um, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I've been grossly unpopular most places I've fucking lived. This is what I've come to learn about you fucking lot. Fucking when I left Boscombe, oh my god, in the last two or three days, I just looked around at like a lot of these neighbours and thought, you really fucking hate me, don't you? To the point of rolling your eyes and making, when are you actually going? Comments and just fucking. So all of that creepy, weird nastiness that people would tell me I'm imagining was real. Yet again, I'm sensing shit going on in the world and everyone tells me I'm being paranoid. I'm not being paranoid, I fucking had it, had it right. But then that gives me another reason not to trust my fucking gut feelings, even though it should, it should make me trust them more. But it doesn't. We are conducting experimentation upon it in the laboratory and we'll get back to you as soon as you know. Um, what is it? Eleven twenty-four. Um, but again, a, a chinkity. It was nice to just bump into someone and just feel some positivity. And like, I was literally like, she could see that I'm not in a good space. There's a lot of underlying shit, and I was quite honest with her about it. And again, she didn't judge me. She didn't fucking, you know. She explored the benefits of it with me and like I was reaching my own conclusions anyway and I was like there's there's just a few videos I need to stop watching and she was like oh god yeah don't do that because it's not going to change anything you already think or believe it's not going to clinch anything or change anything so <laughs> try and find something positive every day and that sort of stuff and it was it was helpful I mean we'll see what happens in the morning because <laughs> that's the thing that's what I was saying to her is like you have these lulls don't you I can't, I don't even know how long I've been counting or if I've been counting now, but it's more like it's not like before it goes down, it's just not ever fucking taking off. It's like a fucking what they call them fucking geese trying to fucking take off. They fucking take ages, they're really not very good at flying. They're not very good at flying. They make a stupid noise with their wings. Because apparently they're wings. And they're like, eh, 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 eh. Well, I thought they were honking. <laughs> they were just like, yay, 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 yay. I thought they were having loads of fun up there. But no, it's their wings. They've got really poorly designed wings because they're using up their fucking. Oh, There's one thing I do know, right? Is energy is energy. And if that wing is creating energy, why is it creating decibelic energy when it could be creating thrust and lift? That's what it's supposed to be creating. Why the fuck is it bothering? Because if it's making a noise, that's dragging it. It's making it inefficient. It's making it inefficient for a bird that already can't really fucking fly. And you think, well, is that why it might have so much fucking trouble getting off of the water, the poor fucking thing? <laughs> But yeah, I'm a goose. I'm a goose. <laughs> They're not the shittest of flying chickens. I think it's probably the shittest of flying chickens are fucking hopeless of flying. It's more like prolonged jumping and <laughs> falling badly. Or maybe that's just the way we've bred them. That might be the way that fucking humans have bred them. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, <clears throat> rapidly turning into waffle. I think we're heading for a 1444. What can I say? I just, I don't know. I've sort of fucking, I've been feeling fucking horrible. I wanted to fucking die, die, die. <laughs> just, like, just sick of everything. Sick. Feeling sick. And all that shit. But I'm a little bit better today. And hopefully I'm going to be a little bit better tomorrow. Because... All around me and all around you, there are angels.